good to be back. I'm so excited to be reconnecting with you guys. It's been way too long. I have truly missed you and you guys have been so kind with your words letting us know that you've missed us too. So thank you so much. Um, I'm ready to serve you guys and help you in any capacity I can. And you know I was thinking about um, how I had such a connection with my customers or friends as I call you guys. Um, and you know a lot of it was because really monumental times in your life were required cute bows for your little girl. So, you know, someone's wedding or your wedding, you know, you needed a flower girl bow or um, a bachelorette party, you know, bows or for Easter or Christmas or birthday parties or um, a baby dedication or baptism. I mean, it goes on and on, but you guys would consistently bring your little ones into us. We got to get to know them and you, and we just loved being a part of your lives. So we're really excited to be back. Thank you for interacting with us on Facebook and Twitter. We're just super excited, um, like I said, just to have you guys back in our lives again. So today I just wanted to touch base quickly to talk to you guys about a really fun feature that we have on our website. Um, as many of you know, when you came into our store, we could custom design you boats for all those occasions I just talked about. And um, since we've been gone, you haven't had someone to custom make bows for you, but we've done everything we can to bring that feature to your home. So now you can design bows from the comfort of your own home. So um, I'm going to get on the website and I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own bows. So fun. I hope you guys have fun making your creations and I can't wait to make a product for you. Okay, so um, we're going to start from uh, our website. You just log on to www.unbelievable.com. Um, we're going to go to custom design. And just for the sake of example, we're going to do larges today. So click on larges. If you look at the design tool, we have layer one, two, and three. You can have up to three layers um, on your bow. It is an additional $2 to add the third layer. So keep that in mind. Up here is showing you the price. For a large bow, which is two layers and a gem or embellishment center, it's going to be $8. So as you add things, um, if you want to check out your price, it's going to be right over here in the top right corner, and it's going to show you the price. You can click on Help just to give you a better example. Step one um, is choose your base bow. Step two, choose your second layer. Step three, third layer, optional. Um, and then step four, embellish it. So we're going to go through the process now. Um, so I'm going to click on layer one because I want to choose the base layer of my bow. Now it's going to tell you to select a category. Um, sheer organza is going to be a fancier material. Um, you can see through it. That's a good way to think of that. Solid satin is also more formal. It's a more delicate material. It has a nice sheen to it. Again, we tend to use that for dressier occasions, um, but it's a very pretty ribbon. Prints is going to be anything with prints on it. And grain is the main type of ribbon that we use. It's the one that has the ridges on it. It tends to be very durable, nice and firm, um, a good ribbon. Stripes and solids. So prints is going to be like flowers or, you know, anything out of the ordinary, I guess. And then we have stripes and solids. So usually for base bow, I prefer to do a solid just because I like to do my print on the top. So we're just going to click on solid grow grain and it's going to pull up all of our choices. Um, for today's example, I have no idea what um, medium ribbons I'm going to come up with. But just for the sake of it, I'm like obsessed with mint green right now. So we're going to do mint green as the bottom layer. Um, layer two, if you know what outfit you're trying to match, you may, um, as my alarm goes off, you may want to... Um, match up like the um, top layer first and then choose the base layer but for the sake of example so anyhow again you're gonna choose your print um, or your type of ribbon I'm gonna go to prints just because um, like I said I want to do something fun and dun, dun, dun. I think this owl ribbon has a little bit of a green in it I think that's so cute 
I love that ribbon. I don't know why that popped up there. So um, anyhow, that's our design. So let's say, okay, I thought I wanted mint, but I really don't. It's not as cute as I thought. So I'm going to change layer one. I can go back and um, change that if I want to. That's also very cute. Now, um, we, we did our best to try to get these to match up, but if it's misaligned a little bit like this, when it's made for you, I promise it'll be put together correctly. But this is just so you can see what's going on. Um, I actually kind of liked my minty guy, so I'm going to go back to that one more time. Um, I'm going to go with mint. I'm just going to keep it there. Okay, layer three, um, I'm not going to do a third layer, but just to show you if you wanted to, um, that's kind of what it would look like. Layer three, I don't want. I'm going to go down here to remove layer three because I don't want that guy. Center style. Um, we have not in classic. This is honestly kind of irrelevant right now. And as we're tweaking the tool, we'll get better at this. But we do want to feature, be able to allow you guys to just have a knot right here in the middle made out of ribbon. Um, we haven't found the best way yet to add that in. So you guys can honestly skip over center style. If you leave it as um, as is and don't add an embellishment, you'll just get a matching um, whatever colors on the bottom. That's what color we'll use right here in the middle to tie the bow together. So um, for embellishment, I'm going to pick something. Um, okay. So I can look through all embellishments there, or I can go to select category. Applique is going to be fabric. Gem is obviously a sparkly gem. Resin is like a harder material, and there's lots of shapes in there. Um, these are an additional charge. They're a more expensive feature to add. And then, ooh, really fun is bottle cap. Um, bottle cap is super cool because you actually pick the image for the middle of the bottle cap. So... Uh, again, you can move this around, but it will be placed in the center of your bow because that's how we have to um, fix it. But um, upload photo then you would do. And huh, you get to see some of my fun um, Christmas pictures. These are like really old. Oh, here's kind of a cute one. Um, so there. So there's a picture of my daughter, and I just put that in the middle. You could do a graphic that says, like, happy birthday or someone's name or a number. Anything you could ever come up with, you can use in the center there. We are then sent a copy of that image, and we will create your custom bottle cap for you. Um, again, look, your price went up $2. So a bottle cap is an additional $2 charge, um, but it's so cool how you can add your own. Um, if you decide you don't want the bottle cap, you can just go back to embellish it. And again, I need to just pick something and be done with it. So we'll pick that cute little flower. Um, there's my creation. I'm going to save. Oh, look, I failed. <laughs> um, I skipped something, and that's the select the clip. So um, we have different types of clips. This is called our crop clip if you have super thick hair. Headband um, is extra four dollars. A like a brooch pin back, snap clip. Um, these are actually supposed to be different sizes, I think, of uh, barrettes. But um, you can just specify to us. I think right now there might be one size ponytail holder and alligator clip. So those are your clip types. Um, I am going to do an alligator clip. You do not right now pick the color. Um, we match a color for you. So if you pick um, headband and you have no hot pink in your headband, because I'm going to show you again, everything's shown in pink, we're not going to give you pink headband. We're going to pull a color that matches the product, and we're going to make it match your bow. So um, your clips, everything will match your headband. Okay, so I picked my clip. Now I'm going to save and continue. And it says... Um, is this the bow I want? Yes, here's my price, $9. Perfect. Add it to my bag. It's going to add it to my bag, and voila, you're done. So that is how you can create a custom bow. Have fun. Make some bows, um, and let me know if I can help you guys with anything at all. Talk to you soon.